Good morning and welcome back y'all. It's move day, we're late, and we gotta get out of this site. All right, Laisha, I'm gonna need you on this one. Okay, what you need? We have a case of rocks, poles, and trees, but it's just trees and poles. There's no rocks here. No good. We're hooked up and conveniently, they planted a tree right there about 50 years ago, thinking <laughs> we were gonna be here and it would be inconvenient for us. Normally that wouldn't be a big deal, but right behind me is this. We likely don't have enough room right here to not miss that. But there's options. Okay, what's your plan? Option one, obviously where we're at is not gonna work. What we need to do is you're gonna back me up back there to that other pole that's behind us. Don't let me hit it. Okay. And then when I come through the first time, I'm gonna scoot the trailer over. Okay. I'm gonna scoot over enough to hopefully get around this tree and get that way without being in that man's camper or truck but i can't come too close because then i'll tail swing into that okay so i'm watching pole then tree so i can watch that so you're gonna... don't let me hit that and don't let me hit that so you're gonna go back first then forward you're not going back again well maybe option two is backwards so oh. if we pull if we pull forward and we can't make this this right here if we can't do this yeah. there is an option two it involves three more poles a truck two campers and reverse that sounds a whole lot easier <laughs> not <laughs> so we're going to try forward first and then if that doesn't work we'll regroup and talk about what reverse involves because it's not convenient either all right i think you got it i have faith all right so we're starting the process he's backing up now are you ready okay i'm ready when you're ready let me put you on speaker hold on okay i'm behind you i'm by the pole you're good you're just getting to the road with the back you're halfway in the road. Still good. You're good. You got about four feet. Whose feet? Your feet or mine? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay. That was a little close. Right. I'll pull forward. <laughs> and we're gonna right. we're okay. just gonna try to gauge if I can make it. Okay, I'm on your passenger side. Yeah, you need just need to watch the tail swing because if I can make it, it's gonna swing close. Okay. So your first tire is past the tree. I oh my. See what's doing? Yeah, it's going to be a tight one. You watch your side. Oh, my side's got plenty of room. I just need to know yours is good. Okay, right now you're okay. It's going to be very close. I'm about to start straightening out. You want me to come look? Um, yeah, maybe come take a look. Okay, so I wanted you to get out because I want to know if my intuition is right. Would we have cleared it? Because I think we would have. Oh, we'll clear that. I'm starting we'll... to go straight now. If I was still okay. trying hard, yeah. then uh, likely it would have kept going. Okay. Hold on, stop for a sec. Okay, yeah, you're good. Well, that was success. I'm glad we didn't have to go reverse. Yeah, that was... That could have got hairy a little I, bit. I'm glad we didn't have to do the reverse direction because imagine doing all that but going back. Oh my gosh, that would have been terrifying. So good job on spacing your trees out <laughs> 50 years ago. We appreciate it. <laughs> you yeah, know, I'm gonna miss this campground. I know, this was a great campground. It was really like relaxing. It was awesome. Plus, I showed y'all the trails. We really got our step on in these trails here. We did good, finally. <laughs> we may not be on time on move day, but we were definitely on time on working out and eating right this time. We did, we went a whole week with, I think, no cheat meals, right? That's right. We didn't eat out one single time. Are we gonna be able to get our steps on move day? That's the question. Can we move <laughs> and get our steps in the same day? Let's hope so. I had to come get you guys. I almost forgot you. I wouldn't want you to be stuck here in Ohio in a cornfield because this thing right here for sure when I made the trip hooked to that ladder. Are you ready for a train horn? Yeah. Can you say bye Ohio? Bye Ohio. Can you say hello Kentucky? Hello Kentucky. Kentucky. In, I like that. Hello Kentucky. <laughs> say goodbye to the corn. I don't think they got corn in Kentucky. Bye corn. Bye corn. I don't think we'll be missing the corn. 
I'm gonna miss the corner a little bit. <laughs> it's still standing, which means soon there's gonna be tractors out there. <laughs> Since we're not doing anything in this traffic, that's where the Bengals play. Welcome to Kentucky. I'm super excited to be in Kentucky because I feel like when you hit Kentucky, you're starting to touch the southern states. And I've missed my southern states. Guess how many moves we had before we're back home? How many? Five moves left and we'll be home. Oh my goodness. But Kentucky, Kentucky, I'm gonna let you in a little, little secret. From this point forward, this is the end of our trip before you got hurt last year. This is oh. the exact route we were taking when we were just trying to do a loop after the summer right. and then make it back to Thanksgiving. Everything in Kentucky is a repeat of that plan. That's why we had to speed up last month yeah. so that we can fit this in because I'm reusing credits and doing the exact same trip all over again. Oh, okay. So we're gonna spend Halloween in the same spot. We're, well, I have all the same adventures planned. I just got to do it a year later. Can't wait. And now we don't have a broken foot, so we can actually enjoy it. We also have back-to-back -back stays with special visitors. And I bet y'all cannot guess who the first visitors are. Yeah, there's probably zero chance you guess our first visitors, but I bet you know the second ones. They've been on the channel. So if you feel like trying to figure it out before you see the video, just go binge watch us and figure out who's been on the channel more than once. <laughs> That's your hint. In more than one season, they've been with us. We've traveled with them two different times. So there's your hint. All right, time for a small bathroom break. Also, I forgot to tape this today and it hasn't come out yet. So I don't know why today it's working like it's supposed to. Also, Kentucky is pretty beautiful. We're starting to see the rolling hills. There's horse farms everywhere. And fall is starting to happen. I'm really excited about the things we have planned for Kentucky. Break time's over. Time to get back on the road. Welcome to Lexington, Kentucky. So two things I've learned about Kentucky so far. What's that? They love their horses. And of course they're gonna have corn. I forgot about all the bourbon trail. Yeah. Of course they're gonna grow corn here. <laughs> so on one side of the highway, you got corn fields. The other side, you got race horses. That's what they do here, horses and whiskey. It's gonna be a good time. Everything in Lexington is named after a famous race horse that won probably the Kentucky Derby or the Triple Crown or something. Everything, like Man of War. What was the, the other one that you said you American saw? American Pharaoh. American Pharaoh. Yeah. It's awesome. There's, this is, uh, like the horse trailer. Horse trailers everywhere. Look at the pretty painting. I thought Ocala, Florida made me feel like we were in Pause. horse land. I gotta get that. That's oh cute. man. That's so awesome. Okay. I, I think Kentucky might have more horses than Ocala. This place, when I booked it, it looked awesome. And because it looked so awesome last night, I went and checked the, uh, the Google thing and I walked down the driveway to get there because You'll see when we get there, it's awesome. But I'm thinking there's no way it's that awesome without hills or ways to get to where we're going. Right. So I, like I said, I did the Google thing last night. I walked the whole driveway out and I was like, it looks fine, but it also looks very small. Well, this morning I got a text message from him saying, so here's the rules. Don't take the first road it's telling me to take right now by GPS. She goes, don't take that. Your camper won't come here now. Okay. And then the second one was, you cannot come here before two p.m. because it's a one way in and if a camper ever meets a camper oh, it's a no-go it's a big deal so all the campers <laughs> have to be out of there before 12 and the new campers cannot come in before 2 because like I said they said tow truck get involved if two campers meet each other oh my gosh yikes so we're gonna put you guys on the RV and let you watch from the back at 
this one-way road into awesome. Let's hope no one was running late like we were today. That <laughs> would not be good. <laughs> Alicia, I'm not gonna lie, this road's getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> it's definitely got me like shrunk in, like I'm making us skinnier over here. It is definitely getting small. <laughs> and we still have two lanes. Wait till we get to the one lane section. <laughs> we just went over that one lane bridge. That was interesting, but no car was coming, so we were good. Now okay. it's getting exciting. We, if we had a drone, we could just go fly it right quick and make sure nobody's coming our <laughs> way so we could stay safe. Fingers crossed we don't meet any oncoming traffic because that's going to be bad. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm glad there's signs saying this is the way to go, but this is getting a little bit scary. We made it back to flat ground. Thank goodness. Hey, y'all can't see it, but that's the main attraction. There's the, the trees. I see rocks. Hey, there's something by the rocks too, down below. Okay, I guess we'll find out together. All right, guys, we made it. Do you see how skinny and hilly that road was? Here is the main attraction. We're on the river with a cliff bluff right there. And this is called Cummins Ferry RV Resort. Hey. Hey. You ready to do this? Ready. So that's beautiful. There is a waterfall over there. there. There's Halloween activities every weekend we're here. There's so many things. They have bands, they have food trucks. Awesome. Yeah, over there. You see the waterfall? Oh yeah. Hey, guess what? Hey. I was I was that was part of the planning. I knew that was gonna be there. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I was excited about this one the whole time. Like, there's even stuff in hey, the pool. Look at that pool that we're not going to Look at that kitty cat and that spider. Ooh, that's the spider we need for our RV. To decorate. This place is a happening place right now. It is. Look out your window, Kayla. There's lots of things. There's the three witches. Ooh. Hi, Casper. Hey, guess what? This, this place looks like a, a walking place as well. I know. The weather is beautiful. I mean, it's a little chilly. Yeah. Don't don't lie to them. You're a little cold. Look, we're wearing jackets. Yeah, we're wearing hoodies <laughs> finally, but we have been for the past what three or four days. Oh yeah. All right. So I've never seen a pool through that. I had to almost do a U-turn to I do. No, it feels like we're on the wrong side. Oh, he says come in the grass. Okay. Well, that was excessively sharper than those axles. <laughs> <wanted to> do. <laughs> you got anything in the back? Oh uh, yeah, tons of toys, man. We're gonna put toys everywhere. <laughs> Kid toys, that is. What you chuckling about? It's uh, it's fine, but it's impossible to make my OCD happy when the sight is curved. Oh, I know. We definitely have a like, a major curve. <laughs> but look, it's the same over here. It's just the it's just curved. the way the sights are. So we're straight in the side. Yeah. But we're not. So tell him about these concrete pads. Oh yeah, I thought this was a sidewalk. He told me that's where you park your car. Yeah. So ours is that one. So we can either park in the front or this is where we park our truck, like right there on that. Just like that guy's doing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the first time we've ever seen that. So good job. Are you gonna do all this? Is it done? No, that's, it doesn't, you have oh, to. Wait. No, 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 that's not, that's <laughs> not how that works. <laughs> I'm new to this. I've never, I don't think I've ever done it. Ooh, well, that sun first is of all, you have to get back enough where you can look at it. No, no, we're not looking at you. You oh. got to look at the camper. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if we can. Well, how are they going to know if it's set up if I'm back here? Well, babe, you got to get a good angle that you want to talk to them about. And then you got to make sure you stand somewhere good and have a it's, good snap. It's like he's directing Ashlyn on her first video. If you miss that one, we'll tag it below. But here we go. Stand right here. All right. <laughs> okay. So you got to remember. The beginner okay. is okay, going to try. Okay, since we're doing this, she has to remember where she stands because if she doesn't stand in the same spot, the magic doesn't work. So I have a cheater look, piece here, of grass. There we go. Grass on rock. All right, or so rock now on grass. you look at it and you hold it up still, and then you put the magic finger in front and give it a good snap. Cover the whole screen. You just put your finger in front like that and go. So it really does work. 
told you it'd work. It was still a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, it's for some reason it takes just as much time on our end as it does to just do the magic thing. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing in here? Well, you know, since we uh, we fixed that leak yesterday, um, we moved, and when you move, things break. So before we turn the water on, we're gonna see if we can get a view of it. That way, when we turn it on, we know we don't have a new leak that we didn't know about. That's a good plan. And we'll probably do this the entire way back home until we can fix it all the right way. Okay. I mean, it's fixed as good as they gave it to us to begin with, but we gotta do something about that. Yeah. All right, water's on, and so far, no new leaks. Everything down there is drying up. Well, it's as dry as it can be. It's uh, it's still damp. You can see that all this is gonna have to come out, and likely the floor might be messed up, and more than likely the insulation down below us is also messed up. So this is probably gonna be a big project when we get home for the holidays to fix all this that the water messed up. <laughs> Welcome to our newest episode called RV Ticking with Alicia. Alicia fixes it. That's what this <laughs> segment's called. So right here we're looking at a water manifold. Is that the right word? Well, that, no, no, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do in the future. That's maybe. what we're gonna make. Oh yeah, that's where I heard that word. Well now that you said it, ask them. Ask them what you think we should do when should we get around. Should we redo this and make it a, a manifold? I don't know what no, these no, words are. No, no, that, <laughs> Should we redo the entire water system and make it perfect? Or should we just fix it and put that wall back up and ignore it for the rest of the time we own it? That's not the way we do things. Sorry. I know that means a lot of work for you, but I say do it the right way. Then you don't have to worry about what's going on in this little rat nest back here. By the way, Grand Design, who thought this was a good idea? I mean, I know nothing about plumbing or water lines and things like that. But I know that's not convenient, should you ever need to fix anything. Probably wasn't very convenient putting in either. Just saying. What do you guys think? When we do this project, because I already know that likely this wall, the wall in front of Alicia, the wall behind Alicia, and likely this floor is going to need to have some sort of repair done to it. Which will mean we'll have all this room right here to take care of water lines, electrical lines, all the heating ducting. Really what we're asking is how OCD should we be when we decide to fix this? <laughs> yes, so our friend Dwayne, who's in the Grand Design Groups, he put a little plexiglass so you could see through it. I think that's a great idea. That way you know if you have a leak before you feel water coming out of the bottom. I think I'm going up Dwayne though. I'm going to put a light back there and a switch right here oh, so I can turn the light on and see everything. Yeah, when I was getting in here, I'm like, it's convenient that the light's right there, but it'd sure be nice if there was lights all throughout this thing so that you could actually see what you're working on. Cause it's, I mean, we're in the middle of the day and it's pitch dark back here. You want to see a basement renovation of this RV when we get home for the holidays? I think yes. I'm sorry, Kevin, but I vote yes. Y'all let us know. All right, I got the crew involved. Y'all ready to start the renovation now? Yeah. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if, you, if I was your size, it'd sure make this job a lot easier. I mean, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but they can't do a worse job than what's already been done. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to go walk around, and this is the main attraction of this RV park, where it's located. We're right here on the Kentucky River. So what do you think about all that? I think this is awesome. I just love that you can hear the waterfall. I wish our site was right here. Yeah, I wish, I wish there was a, all the sites right here. have to pay a pretty penny for this site. <laughs> That's why they made it the community area, I guess. So everyone can enjoy it. Can you imagine swimming under that over there? Well, this is going to be our home for the next 14 days. No, I'm not swimming. <laughs> Way <laughs> too cold. All right, guys, we're going to get settled in for the night. Let us know, what should we do on our basement storage area? I'm moving for ideas, but I need to start ordering parts now so I can fix it when we get home. Also, take a guess who our special guests are going to be in our next episode. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you in the next one.